Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Valder Beebe, is this Laura Donatone? It is Lorna. Hi, Valder. Lorna, thank you so much, Lorna, for joining us. How are you today? I'm well. I'm well. All right. Let's get started. Uh, uh, give me an intro to your topic. Uh, the topic today is about a survey that the National Restaurant Association Educational Foundation have, uh, have conducted uh, and the, the findings around that. Okay, Lorna is the head of Sodesco, North American, and board chair of NREF. Okay, so tell me about one in three Americans who gained their first work experience in a restaurant. I was surprised the numbers were so high. Yeah, it, it is. One in three have their first jobs in the restaurant industry. And what our survey told us was the importance of that first job and a overwhelming majority of the individuals believe that that was a good place to start and that they developed some incredibly important skills that they took and grew their career within the industry or other industries. Skills such as dependability, showing up every day, reliability, doing your job, and adaptability, being able to adapt to your changing work environment, flexibility, being able to adapt to and flex to your customer, and also then a really important skill around team building and being able to work on a team and being able to build a team. I know we're a college-oriented society where we want everyone to be college-educated, but those one in three, can they come with little or no experience or no college, just a high school diploma? I think that's one of the uh, beautiful things about this industry as we, uh, we attract uh, people from all, all walks of life and all educational backgrounds. So yes, absolutely. Uh, and we have programs to help high school students who are coming uh, out of high school, the National Restaurant Association Educational Foundation has a, a program called ProStart. It's a two-year career technical education program that is currently in 1,800 high schools throughout the country, all 50 states, and, and it's in the junior and senior year of high school where uh, students uh, have a program of culinary arts education as well as restaurant management learning some of these skills that I just talked about in their high school and then they can take that and go directly into the workforce or they can go into higher education. Well let me put a slant on this. Uh, I talk, I've talked with a chef over time. Her name is Chef Cassandra Armstrong. She's here in the Dallas area and she has a nonprofit that she started for, for her uh, chef training where she um, is open to having ex-offenders because she felt they can't get a job. Is this a good transition industry for people who are considered unemployable also, but they want to have skills? I, I think that this industry, you know, as I said, can attract uh, and really be very, very successful for all walks of life. Uh, I would applaud Cassandra for uh, outreach to uh, um, a population that find it very difficult to find employment, and this industry can be an opportunity for them. We also uh, have programs through the NRAEF for unemployed youth, uh, which, as you well know, the youth unemployment is, is significant and, and 
in the country and in, in Dallas around 16 percent unemployment. So we have opportunity youth. We partner with community organizations to be able to um, re uh, reach uh, unemployed youth and help them, as well as our military. Uh, our military veterans who are transitioning out of the military and their families. We also think that this industry is a powerful and important place for, for them as they do transition. Lorna, you've given us some great information. Is there a place online that my audience can get more information? There is. SodexoInsights.com, S-O-D-E-X-O Insights.com is where you can find a link to the survey results as well as a link to the website for the National Restaurant Association Educational Foundation where you can find uh, information that I spoke about today or much, much more. Laura Donaton is head of the North American Operation for SEDEC. So, Lauren, thank you so very much for that inspiring opportunity for my audience. Thank uh, you. Thank you, Valder.